Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Sales coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. It's a great time to be live. And we're going to be talking about a massive, massive move could be coming soon for Dogecoin, for cryptocurrency, and for everything else out there. Despite, despite uh, what's going on, uh, the war in Israel, uh, you know, we are seeing that uh, Bitcoin is being pretty, pretty much resilient out there. And from that perspective, from that, uh, from that perspective, we are seeing that even though we would expect Bitcoin and everything to go down, in fact, Bitcoin is holding strong. And as there's fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the world right now, uh, you know, some people are saying WW3 could be coming. You're probably going to be seeing that more and more people are going to be moving to hard assets like gold, uh, Bitcoin, and stuff like that. So we're going to be talking about that and much, much more. Don't forget to go down there smash the freaking likes like crazy it's a great time to be alive and remember not all this is financial advice guys smash the likes out there uh sorry i haven't uh, made a, uh some videos uh in two days ago uh i i was in the hospital food poisoning just kind of getting over it getting back uh to normal i'm still kind of fragile out there so if the energy is not there less pep in my step it's because of that guys so Go back and watch all my other videos. I appreciate it. So, <coughs> what's going on? Excuse me. With the broader markets right now, we did see that despite all the stuff that's going on, we are seeing that uh, the markets are actually actually going up. You know, actually going up. We all know about this this story that's unfolding. Uh, you know, it's what can I say? It's it's not good. It's not good. It's going to destabilize the whole Middle East, and it's 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 just a not a good news out there. Looks like Caroline Ellison took almost 30 seconds to recognize her uh, ex-boyfriend Sang Bankman-Fried as testimony begins. So it looks like uh, the Sang Bankman-Fried's love child uh, is trying to keep the distance and uh, saying, "I don't know Sang Bankman-Fried out there." DXY is uh, is going down. That's good. That's good for crypto out there. And despite that, uh, analysts warn the collapse of the U.S. dollar is imminent. Is absolutely imminent. Uh, but from that perspective, it is going to be good news for the uh, Bitcoin holders. I've got a lubricated throat. Got a frog in my throat. Ribbit, ribbit. <clears throat> so, as we see the uh, U.S. dollars start to collapse, and uh, that's going to definitely help Bitcoin holders. And remember, remember that the U.S. debt is, uh, we're burning about $1 trillion every month, guys. So it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But this is going to be good. This is going to be good for Bitcoin holders. Uh, you know, Global Investment Jeffrey says he cautions about potential collapse of the U.S. dollar, which could provide advantageous for Bitcoin holders. Jeffrey's is a leading global full-service investment bank and capital markets firm headquarters in the U.S. And he basically said, uh, such a failure to exit the unorthodox um, uh, monetary policy in the, in the beginning, ma in a benign manner, is likely to accumulate in a collapse of U.S. dollar, paper standard, and benefit both gold owners and Bitcoin holders. So as we see the U.S. dollar collapse, we're going to see more and more people moving to Bitcoin and gold, so that's pretty good. What do we got uh, to look out for for the balance this week? We've got PPI inflation, we got FOMC uh, meetings coming, we've got CPI inflation on Thursday, jobless claim and consumer sentiment. And when it comes to uh, FOMC, looks like we're definitely going to be getting a rake hike out there. Definitely, that's going to be happening, guys. No doubt about it. Also, big earnings this week. We got uh, J.P. Morgan, City Well, City, uh, City Wells. I'm reading Wells Fargo and City Wells together. Jeez, I must not be recovered. Citigroup, Wells Fargo, BlackRock. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we got PNC Financial, Delta, PepsiCo, Deminus. Who loves it? Deminus, Pizza, Walgreens, and United uh, Health Group out there. So overall, we are seeing that the markets are kind of flat. We are seeing that uh, Bitcoin is still above $27,000, which is good. Despite this war in Israel, things are looking okay, guys. Overall, we're seeing Bitcoin dollars has risen to over 50%. That is good. We're seeing more and more people are selling some of their altcoins and moving them to Bitcoin as a backstop against the collapse of the U.S. dollar. And, you know, when you've got uncertainty, when you've got war, 
it's not good. We're seeing the oil prices are also starting to go up as well. So we're going to see a lot of commodities start to get more and more expensive out there. And that's not going to be good for you and me, uh, for the consumer out there. Uh, Bitcoin is down right now slightly. Ethereum is also down. Uh, Bitcoin is still up uh, for seven days. Ethereum is getting punished. Uh, BNB is down uh, for the week, but it's it's come back today. It's up 1.28%. XRP is slipped below 50%, 50 cents. Good time. Definitely a good time to be accumulating this one. I wouldn't sleep on it. Solana is down as well slightly. Cardano is down. And the Dozier Wozier is up. Good news. We're at $8.3 billion. But uh, we have dropped below uh, six cents. We're going to be talking about that in a second, guys and gals. Uh, don't forget the halving. The halving, we got 188 days. That thing's when, that's when things are going to pop it, pop, pop out there. Uh, as I said, definitely we're going to be seeing uh, interest rate hikes out there. Fear and greed wise, sentiment is still neutral. I still think this is a good time to be buying the dips. Uh, you know, I did buy some Bitcoin uh, yesterday, uh, last week, uh, and it's down slightly from where I bought it. But that's to be expected because of the fact that uh, we had this uh, chaos uh, and war in Israel. Uh, return so far, September closed almost 4%. October, we're about halfway through October and it's not looking so good. We're still positive territory, but not as, not as good as we thought. So it looks like uh, we've got this Bitcoin uh, bullish uh, cipher harmonic out there. And if you look at this harmonic, it definitely is saying that uh, we could be creeping ourselves up to uh, around about $36,000 pretty shortly. So we could see uh, probably $36,000 coming in soon. I think, uh, you know, for Bitcoin, from my perspective, it's just going to have some sideways chop out there. Uh, we have retested these two bars here. You know, Bitcoin, if you take a look at 2019, 2023, very similar pattern. Uh, from my perspective, I really think that this is uh, still a good opportunity for Bitcoin. I think it's definitely going to pop. And if you take a look at the total uh, top assets by market cap, gold is number one and Bitcoin is number 13, Tesla number nine. So don't sleep on Bitcoin, guys. Absolutely don't sleep on Bitcoin. And uh, guys, did you know that uh, the amount of Bitcoin on exchanges is it's at the lowest point in history, guys? Look at that. The amount of Bitcoin on exchanges, the spot exchanges are just going down, d d d d down, down. And that's really good because people are not, people are just hodling Bitcoin or holding Bitcoin. And remember, we're not making any more. And uh, when the next halving comes, it means that the inflation rate of Bitcoin is going to go down. And uh, get ready, guys. 200K coming in August 2025. Absolutely, absolutely insane. So we have seen... That Bitcoin, despite the conflict in Israel, which happened here, we did have a drop. But overall, I see that Bitcoin is probably going to go up. And if we can get past this resistance line here, we're going to be we're going to be reversing, guys. Uh, so I don't I, I expect that we have good support around about 26.6. I'm not too concerned. Ethereum, however, uh, did get pummeled. Uh, you know, when we had the Israel uh, war breakout, it, uh, Ethereum did get pummeled. It broke down below our confluence level, and uh, it's starting to it's starting to regain now. But it, this is a bearish uh, flag out there, so we could see uh, Ethereum probably go down to fifteen hundred bucks. In my opinion, guys, my opinion. And guys, if you got your crypto on a centralized exchange, get it off there. Get it on a uh, get it on a, a nano ledger. The link is down there, guys. Are you smashing the likes? Have you smashed the freaking likes, guys, out there? Smash the likes. So, so love for the OG. Sorry, the energy's not there. Not feeling so good. Uh, good morning, Dogecoin holders. Uh, we're seeing that Dogecoin is neutral as well. And, guys, Dogecoin, now is the time to have diamond hands. Doge forever. Don't be a panic seller, guys. Hold. Things are looking pretty good. Dogecoin, unfortunately, as you all know, dropped below our very, very important six cent level. So this is not good. This is absolutely not not good at all out there. Our next big support is 0497. So do not be surprised if, Big, if Dogecoin does drop below those levels. But let's see. I think that we could retest the six cent level. And if we can get past uh, back above there, we'll be fine. We've seen in the past that we have dropped down and we've only stayed down for a couple days. Uh, so this is going to be our third day below six cents. So. If we can get back up there in the next seven days, we'll be fine. If not, if after seven days we're still below six cents, then we could be going down to five, 
that's just the way it is. Just the way it is, guys. Uh, market cap is up 1%. The volumes are down by 50%. Uh, overall, the last 24 hours, a big uh, Dogecoin is trying to make a comeback. That's not too bad, not too shabby out there. We're seeing that Dogecoin whale transactions surge. Uh, we're seeing that a lot of, uh, as because of big uh, Dogecoin drop, we have seen that Dogecoin whale activity has surged 49.6% to 1.3 billion in 24 hours. Uh, October 10th, while trading volume dropped 22% to 153.7 billion. This, the discrepancy exists between retail and large holder Doge trading, indicating tug of war in the market right now. Despite the current bearish trend, trend uh, major holders are accumulating Doge, suggesting long-term bullish expectations. So I think this is a good time to be buying a Doge, guys. Uh, anything below six cents is a bargain, in my opinion, out there. Dogecoin still holds a top 10 spot, guys, when it comes to the total market cap. Out there, Doge is still in the top 10 spot, number nine. And that's if you include the stable coins. And if you remove the stable coins, we're like, uh, you know, if we if we remove Tether, and uh, we re we're still we're still number seven, guys. So number eight, not so bad, not so shabby, not so shabby whatsoever, guys. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, thirty nine percent of the holders are in the money, six percent out. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, in terms of uh, social sentiment for a douche coin right now, we are seeing those coins still eleven. And let's see what people are thinking. Uh, Weekly-wise, social mentions, social engagements are well over 100%. So that's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, on the daily, uh, things are picking up as well. So that's good. Hopefully, we'll see Dogecoin uh, start to make some moves. Remember, Dogecoin is is, uh, is sentiment-driven. So that's pretty good. And as you can see, Shiba Inu right now has also dropped below its 07 support level. Pretty similar structure to uh, Dogecoin. And a lot of that has to do with the Israel uh, war and conflict that's going on out there. So that's what that's all about guys So I wouldn't worry about it too much. That's gonna bring this video to a close guys do go and follow me follow 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 me on my Twitter uh, Let's hope we can get this up to 8600 uh, followers. I appreciate it guys. I do get the merch. Oh, I appreciate it. So guys be blessed Be beautiful. Hopefully I feel better. See you in the next one. Peace out